Entering the opening weekend for the FSU baseball team, the attention was clearly pointed toward head coach Mike Martin and what is his final season leading the Seminoles, but when the weekend ended, the attention had turned toward the fact that the Noles have a pretty decent team that might send Martin out with a bang in his 40th and last campaign. Not only did the Seminoles sweep their foes on the field inside Dick Hauser Stadium last weekend, but they did so in every way possible, including a couple blowouts, a come-from-behind walk-off and a memorable opener to the season that was rather appropriate for the last season under no. 11. Now, FSU baseball hits the road for the first time this season for a single game set against a long-time foe who would love to keep Martin from getting closer to 2,000 wins for his career. Here's our preview of this week's game between the Seminoles and their foe during this week of action. The last time the Noles took the field the Seminoles welcomed the main Black Bears to town for the first time since the 2012 season, and started off with a bang as Drew Parrish, Connor Grady and Chase Haney combined for a no-hitter, the 10th in program history, to pace the Seminoles to an 11-0 victory. Reese Albert and J.C. Flowers each homered for the Noles. That's an opening day no no. Pick.twitter.com slash 05U25 or FB, FSU Baseball, at FSA Baseball, February 15, 2019 Saturday, the Seminoles took two from the Black Bears, churning out 16 runs in the first game to get the win while coming from behind in an innings-shortened game two as Matt Nelson's sacrifice fly brought home flowers for the winning run and a 6-5 victory. Sunday, FSU baseball got the sweep going as they took a one-run lead into the seventh inning, and exploded for seven runs in that frame that included a three-RBI day from Robbie Martin as part of a 9-1 victory. Opponent preview Wednesday evening, the Seminoles will be in Jacksonville to face a Dolphins team they have faced the third most of any foe in program history behind rivals Florida and Miami. You would like to forget about their opening weekend of the season where they were swept in three games by Indiana State being outscored 28-11 over that span. Next, legacy of integration for Knowles started on the diamond interesting fact on their series history, FSU baseball and the Dolphins have met a total of 164 times with the Seminoles holding a commanding 127-37 lead all time. Over the last four meetings though, the series is split 2-2 in games played in Jacksonville, while, over the last two seasons, the Noles have won all six meetings by a combined score of 56-22.